is Sade Jenks, the Sade Jenks Experience, and I'm here with... The world's greatest lady supreme. Yeah, when I started rapping, I wasn't writing at first. Mm -hmm. Like, I would just, you know, just say whatever came to my mind. Mm -hmm. And this was as, like, an eight-year-old child. Ever since, like, third grade, I've always been, like, a good writer. Right. Whether it's poems or stories, just my imagination, period. Right. I was always good at putting it down. And then I came to a point where I was in, like, maybe the ninth or the tenth grade, and I started recording myself on my phone and on my computer. And I was like, you know what, it'd be better if I tried this. Tried mm -hmm. to just write it down. So I started writing and I wrote out different things and I was like, oh, this, this actually sounds pretty good because it's more organized and I'm able to have more control over the things that I say. So once I started that, this has kept rolling ever since. It don't compare me to no one. Never question my motives. Niggas finally notice. Got one foot on the line, this just ain't the time to be choking. Not at this very moment, you either become a legend or settle for mediocre, I know. So many niggas that went the ladder way. The only be the man every Friday, Sunday, and Saturday. Niggas move early like lunch specials and matinees. Young black guy with a heart they can never fabricate. Everybody ballin' until you tell them to check up. Or make them pick the check up. Remember niggas stared at me stupid, I told them step up. And put your money where you got your mouth or shut the heck up. How could I ever let up? Niggas be being phenoms, I be being a phenom. Going above and beyond, any record I be on. I'm adjusting the needle to set the record straight. I'm way too impatient to ever hesitate. I say from a personal standpoint, my influences of music came from my sister. Now she was a she was a huge West Coast fan, and she just loved like Tupac and Biggie, and she would just play it for me and like made me memorize like who would if I didn't know the lyrics, she would be like, "Who is this?" <laughs> and I'd be like, "Oh, that's Tupac. Oh, that's Biggie. That's yada yada yada." So she instilled that in me, and then. After a while, I started to discover music for myself. Shout out to Nene, because she likes to hear herself shout it out. <laughs> but how was, after you graduated, like how was everything, like that transition? Oh man, I was super depressed. Because I didn't have a job, I was still at my mom's crib. I had to sleep on the couch because my aunt had moved into my room. Uh -huh. You know, thinking I wasn't coming back. Yeah. And that was like, it was a terrible situation, man. That's pretty much what the whole, the whole Dream Theory album about, from my standpoint, was just me overcoming depression. Mm -hmm. And that was a period, like, you know, I was contemplating off of myself. I was just, like, unhappy more so than anything else. Yeah, because I think it's one, because I think once I graduated, I was like, okay, this is how it's going to go. Like, not saying I expected everything to kind of be exactly how I wanted it to be, but I thought right. I had, you know, kind of had that idea. Felt like starting over, in a yeah. sense. Yeah. Figuring it out. Yeah. That's all you can say. As long as you're not where you once were, mm -hmm. and you're progressing in life, that's a win. Mm -hmm. Everything comes in life comes full circle. So mm -hmm. those positive energies that you put out will always right. come back to you. It might not be when you think it's gonna come. It might not be as fast as you want it to come. Mm -hmm. But it's always gonna come back in life, and it's always gonna return. Right. So I'm doing this short film slash music video type of things with the opening track and the bottom track mm -hmm. from my album. Miles Jordan, By and By Media Group. He came to me, he was like, man, we could do something big, like something to change the world. We can do all that with just these two tracks. But the thing is, like, you need money to do it right mm -hmm. on a global scale because we're right. trying to change the world. So I started to go fund me to help fund that project. So that's coming up next. Okay. And then, Coming up next, we're gonna do a lot of shows for this next album. It's gonna be beautiful. I bet. You can find me everywhere at Slay the Supreme, S L A D E T H E S U P R E M E. And that's everywhere from Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I might even be on MySpace, Tumblr, <laughs> um, LinkedIn, uh, everywhere. Or you can just Google me. Slay the Supreme, mm -hmm. and you'll find me. <laughs> and is there anybody you would like to thank, or you know, just in general? Um, shout outs, you know. You know, shout out, shout out to my family, shout out to all my friends, shout out to all the you know supporters. But most importantly, I like to give an honor to God. Thank you for putting me here.